So let's talk about some cheap stocks. Uh, make sure that throughout this video, if you have some stocks in your watch list that you want to share with us, that you do so in the comment section. If this video helps you out in any way, please make sure you drop a thumbs up. One of the first stocks that I want to talk about is Pinterest. And Pinterest, based off of current price levels and previous resistance levels, offers a little bit over 40% if it were to make a recovery to $81 a share. Pinterest is one that I followed up with that a lot of people liked as it reported earnings, it acted as a negative catalyst and it pulled back about 20%. This offered a dip by opportunity for those that saw value in it. Now, does that mean that you blindly buy the dip? Of course not, right? This thing can still sell off. It still needs to confirm its reversal above EMA line, but as of right now, it's still getting rejected, which is why we have to be very careful with our position size, which is why we always you know, stress the idea of taking a 10% or less position before an overall reversal to be able to tolerate that you know, risk or that potential pullback as it can still get rejected. The second one that I want to talk about is Fiverr, ticker symbol FVRR. This one recently reported earnings and from where we're at as of right now to previous resistance levels offers a little bit over 50%. A lot of you guys are familiar with Fiverr and the overall uh, platform itself. So I thought it'd be pretty interesting to talk about companies that some of us might be uh, somewhat familiar with, right? And the thing that we need to know about Fiverr as of right now is again, earnings acted as a negative catalyst. It's still getting rejected by the EMA line. So are you missing out on anything by not buying in right now? No, you know, at the end of the day, I would rather encourage you to be safe to not get in before confirmation. And as of right now, we're still trading below the EMA line, as you guys can see right here. That's right around $183 a share. I would like to see this thing break back above $200. And with that, again, at least you'll have more proper indication of an overall reversal. Right now, I only have 60 shares. Overall, I'm still in the green. But again, I'm not trying to rush into buying more, especially with days like this where yesterday it looked promising, right? But today it pulls on back 3%. Today was just a very poor day um, you know, in, in the market altogether. So uh, don't overcomplicate it. Allow that opportunity to present itself. And let's go on to the next one. The next one is Spotify. So Spotify has been making lower highs and lower lows. A lot of people have been asking, have I been adding more to my position on Spotify? No, right? Spotify is not indicating signs of reversal. And although it does break above the EMA line for some time, it gets rejected right away. We talked about it after it reported earnings. It acted as a negative catalyst. I bought the dip at 218 a share with a 10% position size. Guess what? A couple days after, everyone was ecstatic because it recovered right away. But guess what I didn't do? I didn't buy more because it was still indicating signs of a rejection level at the EMA line, which is why I still stayed with that 10% position because it would only make sense to buy more once this thing actually begins to make higher highs and actually indicate signs of an overall reversal. Now, a question you might have is, you know, why are all these stocks pulling back? Well, definitely not everything right now. Um, even after market hours, I have to give credit where it's due. Uh, Fubo reported earnings, and you can see that earnings can act as a positive catalyst. You can see that Fubo shot up just today after market hours, hitting nearly highs based off of previous patterns at around $35 a share. Right now, it's trading at $31 a share, but now the question is, is Fubo a buy or a sell? You can let me know in the comments section, but just based off of previous patterns, you can see that it's a little bit more on the overbought level. Looking at the RSI, looking at the MACD, those indicators confirm that. So it wouldn't be much of a surprise if we pull on back with a couple days that follow. So this isn't viewed to be a good deal and it doesn't benefit you if you weren't already invested in Fubo before the earnings reports. Now, are all these stocks just trash, right? And why are all these stocks still pulling on back? Even stocks like Amazon as of right now are definitely not performing the best, which is something that you need to take into consideration. Amazon is as quality of a company as it gets, right? aggressive pullback after earnings. Uh, they ended up beating EPS, which is earnings per share, but their revenue just wasn't there. And again, just acted as a negative catalyst. What is Amazon doing very similar like the other stocks that we talked about? Getting rejected by the EMA line, consolidating below the EMA line. Amazon, from where we're at as of right now, this isn't one of the top three stocks that I wanted to talk about, but it definitely makes sense on why a lot of people are paying attention to it. Amazon, from the price that we're at right now, if it were to make a recovery to previous highs at 377 or 3773, offers a little bit over 13%. And again, it's not a crazy return, but it's with a multi trillion dollar company, one of the best companies out there, and over 10% margin, which again, this doesn't happen all the time. So all I'm trying to do right now is stay patient, uh, collect 
you know, the different stocks that I see value in, uh, take very light positions in them. And then once they do begin to indicate signs of reversal, I can really step on the gas and add more to them when that direction is in my favor. So you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my breakdown. I wanted to keep today's video very simple. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for updates. Make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you guys want to be able to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, click the second link in the description and I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open for our live trading session. Until then, like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.